Hello and welcome to Thought for July the 3rd. Our readings are 1 Samuel chapter 15, Isaiah chapter 59 and Matthew chapter 3 and 4. And our thought is, man shall not live by bread alone. In today's fourth chapter of Matthew, we read of a very thought-provoking event. This occurred before Jesus began his ministry. It is a challenge to understand it correctly. The chapter begins by telling us that then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness. Led by the Spirit? So it was God's will that this event happened? It took place in the wilderness away from people. The reason why the Spirit led him there was to be tempted by the devil. Well, what is the devil? Well, first we note that there were three types of temptation that Jesus rejected. His answer in verse 4 is to state, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. We can see what that means for us today. We have that word in our hands, the source of strength for our hearts to enable us to effectively resist inclinations to think or do anything that is ungodly. But it is not sufficient to simply resist. We must think positively in an ungodly world. We must feel inspired by the future God's Word reveals, as we have been reading in Isaiah and the lessons of failure as shown by Saul when he became king. How did Matthew come to write this account of his master's temptation? It is not until we come to his ninth chapter and verse 9 that we read of him being called to follow Jesus. So Jesus must have told him, and no doubt the other disciples too. And what was the method that Jesus often used in teaching? Parables. It is obvious that verse 8 is not literal. It tells us, Again the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. Well, no such mountain exists. Satan told Jesus, All these things I will give you if you fall down and worship me. What is Satan the symbol of? The temptation to serve self before or as well as serving God. Judas gave in to the temptation to serve self. Jesus said, Did I not choose you, the twelve, and yet one of you is a devil? John chapter 6 verse 70. Jesus was surrounded by those with such minds. The start of this same chapter tells us of the feeding of the 5,000. Look how the people reacted. The people declared, This indeed is the prophet who is to come into the world. Verse 14. But what happened next? Perceiving then that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, Jesus withdrew again to the mountain by himself. But Jesus had come to be king. But this was a temptation to do the right thing the wrong way. Let us reflect on all the forms of temptation surrounding us today. Truly, man shall not live eternally by what this world provides with all its opportunities. Let us make sure we live by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up that word of God that comes from the mouth of God, remembering that that word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you.